Reacting to the star power, the door slowly opens. That's very slow. That's as fast as everything else is in this game. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be back in one minute. I'm gonna get some water real quick. Yeah, computer parts, computer building and all that stuff. I don't know, it's very, I used to find it so much more fun than I do now. Now I just feel like building a computer and all that stuff just takes so long that like with the latest build, hang on. Oh God, oh, bless me. What a professional start to this video. <laughs> uh, editing, nah, not happening. May pay an editor one of these days. Really, I can't edit shit myself. Anyway, um, I feel like, uh, like with the last build that I did, it, I, it literally ended with me basically saying, I don't really want to build computers anymore. <laughs> it takes up too much time, man. But as difficult as it is to build computers, I think that the hardest thing to do. It's a video game, PC game, computer man enthusiast is buying USB cables. Good lord. I remember the first time I had a USB device. You know how it worked? There was a USB cable, a USB port, and a USB port on your computer. And you plug that shit in, and it was universal, and it just worked. Every time. And now... There's too many goddamn standards for USB cables. That's all there is to say about it. It's impossible. Alrighty. So this is TikTok Clock. The novelty of TikTok Clock is that the um the the all the all the stuff that's currently not moving it usually is moving around like a huge amount. Uh, based off of the positions of the hands on the clock face. When you enter the clock, uh, it determines the speed at which all of the elements in the level move around. I entered at exactly midnight. At midnight, everything in the level is completely stationary. This is the way to play this level and have it be a freaking vacation. There's no difficulty in the level when you do it this way. Ow. Uh, so naturally, I immediately cowardice moded it. This level gets really, really fast, too, if you, if you let it. So I'm probably gonna alternate wildly between having the level be complete- Yeah, that's actually what we'll do. I'll, I'll alternate between having the level be really, really fast and complete- and really slow. Now, that actually doesn't sound very funny at all. Okay, I'll just- I'll- I did it once as a novelty for the rest of the- levels I'm just gonna enter whenever the hands are um, doing their thing. Also, I'm have I, this is getting really annoying immediately. I think that because these are platforms that spin around and have like this weird sort of physics associated with them, Mario can't cliff hang. Okay, so he can. So I don't know what I'm what I'm doing. It's okay. It's okay. I'm on the internet. Nobody needs to know what they're doing to be on the internet. In fact, it seems like it's actively discouraged. 
Okay, come on, come on. There we go. Oh, there's so many different kinds of USB cords. What they've done to USB is a travesty. It's... USB is sad to me now. The universal serial bus. I'd rather have a parallel port at this point. Okay, come on. Here we go. Hoi! Yes! Oh, bird, you're perfect at everything that you do. Oh. Oh, no! Okay. That's not too bad. That's why they put this little health thing right here. It's for me. I have a cheese stick in front of me. And I really want to eat this cheese stick. But I can't. Want to know why? I've decided as of today that I need to go on a diet. I currently weigh 198 pounds. That's not really that bad, considering I'm 6 foot 3. But it's a little... It, it, it's just... I got, a, I got a bit of a COVID gut going on here, and I, that's no bueno. So, I've decided on top of all the other crazy amount of stress that I got going on in my life, I'm also just going to try dieting. Yeah, my, my ideal weight is a nice felt 145. I think that'll be, that'll be pretty good for me, right? But, uh, yeah, I definitely noticed, like, another day, or a, a day or two ago, it was like, oh... All this sitting around is really starting to, really starting to show. And, uh, I don't want, like, I don't want to, like, end off 2020 with the diabetes or something. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make this. Oh, wow. Look at that. That was tight, wasn't it? Whew. I bet everyone was, like, watching just thinking I wasn't going to be able to make that. No, I, this is definitely one of the slowest settings that the level can be on. That's okay. It's just, just my pace. Oh man, this is, this is unbeatable here. Never mind. Uh, yeah. But yeah, the... Uh, I, know, I, I bought like Ring Fit Adventure and stuff like that to help... Yeah, you know, kind of at least make sure I'm moving around a little bit. Um, I have a standing desk and stuff like that, and that stuff helps. As long as you remember to use it, and you're not too tired to use it. And unfortunately, both of those things are not exactly, um, you know, they're not exactly uh, things I'm, I would consider myself particularly great at. So, I, I, uh, a ring fit stream, oh, that could be a lot of fun actually. No way. It's kind of hard to set up a recording for it. That's something to think about. Uh-oh. Um. But, like, some... Uh, I don't know. The important thing is that I feel guilty about it. I'm like, I, I should ring fit today. But it's also... I'm also really, really tired. And it's on the other side of the apartment from me. And it's like, well... I guess the calculus is really lining up such that we're not ring fitting today, are we? <laughs> uh, uh, oh well. Ah, you gotta take care of yourself in these times. I mean, you always have to take care of yourself, but like, boy, self care right now is really, really tough and more important than ever, it seems. That. I don't know if I'm exactly sharing some real stunning revelations about uh, COVID. I think that most people are at least have a passing familiarity with, um, you know, this this uh, little world event that's going on. Oh God. Come on, come on. I need to. Okay, get turned around. There we go. Um. So yeah, I don't think I don't think that uh. What the hell's that down there? Oh, right, there's a giant clock hand that I need to land on. That's the way that this one works. Because I need to make it onto that doodad. Maybe I don't really need to do anything other than drop down and then... Yeah, maybe I don't really need to do anything other than just drop down correctly. 
Okay. Is that it? Here we go. <laughs> oh, that was good at hand. Okay. Well, that's actually probably one of the harder stars. So, glad to knock that one out. That was the one where I needed to... Where I was, what I was saying was I would need to drop onto the hand to uh, get swung around a whole bunch. Now, the pit and the pendulums. Where is that hiding? Um... Let's see, can I... I need to find a way to use my... Oh, come on. Can I make this go into first-person view at all? Okay, there we are. There we go. I think the pit and the pendulums... I just need to go on top of that cage and then continue going around the level. So we'll do that. Okay, sounds good. Um... Yeah, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, I, I think it'd be a lot of fun to do a Ring Fit Adventure stream. I think that I have all the shit that I need insofar as I own Ring Fit Adventure and I own a webcam, which I really need to plug in because I think I should be recording my, my, my face because people want to see that when they're playing, the, when they're watching people play video games, they want me to be there be my face in there and just be like like all ragey face or like like looking all kinds of gruntled or disgruntled or however I'm feeling in the moment but now I got a camera um I own ring fit I have um leg and arm and other things that are generally usually considered damn it pretty crucial uh elements to ring fit adventure so I could do it However, it it will be very short streams because I'm I'm I I get winded very very easily on account of the fact that my lungs is bad. Actually, my lungs are fine. It's my esophagus that's like, hey, are you moving? Because if so, we have a surprise for you. We're just gonna clench up, and you if you're if you're a big fan of oxygen, mmm mmm. We're not, we're not gonna really be, be letting that into your body anymore. I guess what I'm saying in a much more easy to understand way is that I get asthma. What the hell is wrong with the level? Everything is moving randomly. Like, oh, there might be a mode that makes all the stuff like go on really, really strange, unpredictable cycles. Because if so, I think that that's where I'm at. I don't know, like all that stuff was, stuff's moving backwards. Like, so that's, that's kind of weird as shit. Yeah, I definitely feel like I... Okay, so there's apparently a mode to TikTok clock where everything just goes completely haywire. Good to know. Um, gonna try to avoid going into this segment all that often. <laughs> Ring fit would be slightly longer if you did my yours right after you. Yeah, but do you want to, Ladybird? Do you want to stream? Never really seemed like your um your thing. Uh, unless you want to graduate into becoming an e-girl, I could get you like um some Neko ears for like headphones, and and I I could get those. Oh, <sighs> I get I could get Neko ears. I, I tell you what, I can get a webcam going. I'll put like little cat ears on my on my headphones, and everyone could be like, "Wow, bird, you are, you're you're pretty kawaii, man." And I'll be like, "Like, um, what's Japanese for thank you? Uh, um, I actually don't know. Uh, I know." some Japanese phrases enough to ironically be a weeb um but for whatever reason I feel like I should know thank you and I and I don't and I don't got it I feel like thank you is probably one of the most important phrases to learn in any language let alone Japanese oh crap oh there we are uh Origami dame dasu. I don't know. It has the word origami in it, so I'm not too sure about. I'm not. I feel like there's a little bit of trickery happening 
but I don't know enough Japanese to refute it. To be fair, no matter what you said, no matter what anybody in chat would say right now, if they were trying to tell me what the trend, what thank you is in Japanese, I would assume that they're lying. Can this level just suck the gnarliest um, fart out of a fart tube? There we go. That's how, that's, that's what professional YouTuber, I just didn't want to swear for whatever reason. It was like, I feel like not swearing at this moment, but I didn't want to swear. Um, yeah, no matter what you say, it's Arigato. God damn it. Of course it is. Domo Arigato. Um, Senor Rovato. That's, that's, that's that song. God damn it. I did know it the whole time. I can't believe that I couldn't remember Arigato. Uh, funny. That song's actually unironically really cool. Can, wow. I can't believe, I... I'm stunningly bad. <laughs> that was just an absolute pathetic d display. <laughs> um, now nah, the uh, Mr. Roboto is a unironically really cool song from a unironically really bad album. <laughs> I'm I don't like um, I don't like sticks very much whatsoever, uh, let alone rock opera concept album sticks. <laughs> But I do like, um, I do like Mr. Roboto. I think that song kicks ass. It's very 80s. Not that that means anything to me. I was just... Also, I don't believe that that song is 80s. I think it came out in, like, the late 70s? Yeah, cool. Really, really showing off my, um, my, my sticks cred there. I guess the main takeaway from whatever I'm saying right now is, uh, don't base your opinion on sticks off of my opinion on sticks. educational stream okay I think I've learned that there's a gappy and we didn't hit it this time okay TikTok clocks hard it's not quite like the castle oh gosh the rainbow road castle times level is so much harder in my opinion I'm not looking forward to that one I don't normally find it very hard but I feel like I just don't remember how hard it actually is. Uh, do I use the flippy? I don't think I'll use the flippy. Uh, Mr. Roboto came out in 19... 19... God damn it. God damn you, TikTok clock. Suck my... Suck my TikTok... Cig cigarette. Because I don't feel like swearing. But we all know what I was saying. You know it. America knows it. Um, uh, Mr. Roboto came out in 1983. Okay. Well, I guess I'm not only wrong about the song, I'm, like, wrong about how wrong I was about the song. So, you know, really got a, really got a total mastery of my sticks lore. Uh oh, that's not good. Oh. Okay, I'm not dealing for that one again. That was bad. Nah, I mean, Mr. Roboto's definitely got like a 90, an 80s flair to it, right? When I listen to Mr. Roboto, I think to myself, like, yeah. Yeah, this could be in an Apple, uh, in, in, in a Macintosh commercial. It probably even was. Hell if I know. It could, I could totally see it being like Domo Arigato, Mr. Roboto in like that weird, super bassy, like really fucking cool sounding voice. And then it just says like the all new Apple II revolutionized the ingenuities, be a rebel or whatever. And, and it has like, I don't know, Farrah Fawcett in like, um, like an 80, with like teased up 80s hair in like a spandex unitard and and um and no bra because nobody wore bras back in the days apparently and that's just uh that's just the way that uh i could see it <laughs> being used i don't know why i fixated on the lack of bra thing but i don't know maybe i'm just a kid of the 90s but i do remember like like in cartoons and crap like that like nips 
were way more acceptable than they are now, it seems. And I don't mean that as the kids these days thing. I just think it's very, very weird that they were acceptable in the first place. I didn't actually expect that to be my conclusion. <laughs> Let's just get the star and be done with it. Damn. Hmm. The fall was gnarly enough to fall off and then fall into something as it was rotating. Yeah, I got crushed in the gears of life on that one, didn't I? Okay. How am I doing? How am I doing? 54. 54. 54. 